Welcome back to another video guys Another vintage dinosaur book review So we've got here Picture facts Dinosaurs And this is from 1980 something Let's have a quick look before we dig into this 1981 I have a lot of good memories Borrowing this book at primary school and when I was about seven, eight years old, so around 1987, 88, it does have that classic 70s, early 80s artwork in here, which is really, really nice, which I'm very fond of because obviously that's my childhood. A great book that I found recently while I was thrifting. So come and join me as we dig into this book and go back in time all right so here we got the picture facts dinosaurs so we've got a nice lovely front cover nice scaly t-rex there i'm not sure what dinosaur that's meant to be it's got four fingers maybe herrerasaurus or something got a vintage 70s paleontologist there and at the back nice triceratops and yep paid two bucks for this great memories and firstly i like to say no copyright intended all artwork belong to their owners so we've got like a little bit of an intro there and got some nice fossils there of ammonites, ammonites, I think they're called. So, Gallery Press, Ron Taylor. Robert Rowe. Oh, looks like a stamp of some sort. I'm not sure if that's some book company or whatever. And our contents. Got that Triceratops there. I've got a, a toy that looks exactly like that. Triceratops, one of those um, Chinosaurs. I'll have to compare it when I end up reviewing that particular toy. So we've got here an explanation about, um, I guess, fossils and stuff. I wonder what dinosaur they found there. Let's see. No, it doesn't say which um, dinosaur. So we've got a lovely, um, I guess, the, the age of, di of dinosaurs in prehistoric life, because it's from the Cambrian period. So it's kind of like an evolutionary kind of, I'm not so much evolutionary, but it's like, I guess, what animals lived in what time period. And we've got the classic kind of uh, Charles Knight, style of drawing there of these famous t-rex and triceratops painting uh, so we got the got some devonian period going on and so forth amphibians that's good how they show from from fins to feet that's really good some really nice artwork there a lot's going on We go early reptiles, but Demetriton wasn't a reptile. So you're going to see always a lot of um, inconsistencies about these books, but it's not about that. It's about appreciating appreciating the books for for what they are, I guess, for their time they were accurate and stuff. That's a great battle going on there. That's awesome. Dicenodonts, Dicenodonts. We've got Dimetrigon, my favorite prehistoric animal of all time. Here we go, that's one on the cover. So, author and I, I'm 
I'm so bad at pronouncing these names. It's Orthon Lychus. Orthon Lychus. Sorry for butchering that. But anyway, we've got some. This would be, I guess, the Triassic period. Oh, yeah, Platosaurus. This Placodont. I'd like to see a model of that made, like from PNSO. Yes. Yeah, early dinosaurs. Yeah, the Platosaurus. Again. Can't go wrong with the vintage artwork. First age of dinosaurs. Look at that Allosaurus. <laughs> and we've got obviously where they found sauropods. That's a nice, nice picture and some vintage Stegosaurus and Camptosaurus. So, what are they? Barosaurus. Nice and nice herd going through the forest. Nice and nice artwork. Actually, that's part of a bigger kind of piece of art. I remember from another book, and I think there's another picture in this that was that's actually part of that, but they've kind of kept it separate. We've got the Podicus, super giants. What's this? Melanosaurus. That's one that you don't hear about much. Yes, it was part of this picture. I'm pretty sure that was a part of that picture because you can see the rock there in the ground and it's kind of like the edge. I'm pretty sure that was a part of that. But anyway, we've got Allosaurus. Yeah, that's a awesome picture, that one. I remember that picture from another book. The Allosaurus was chasing some other smaller dinosaur, I remember. Can't remember the book that was in like that. I have to find that one eventually. Yeah, we've got Megalosaurus here having a good feast on something. Looks like uh, some sort of Brontosaurus or something. Second Age of Dinosaurs. What do we got there? We've got. Is that T Rex? It might not be T Rex. Uh, Gorgosaurus. An Ankylosaurus. I think today Ankylosaurus doesn't have those spines on the side there. But that's a classic vintage Ankylosaurus. We've got Deonychus there. I don't know what the hell <laughs> what the hell's going on there. It's having a battle of something. That's a pretty goofy picture. Even the Rexy here looks a bit goofy too. <laughs> and there, that's another classic picture from another book. So we've got Triceratops kind of winning that battle there. And the T-Rex is, yeah, getting a bit be beaten up there. So I think you got to... Try and escape and live to fight another day, I guess. But it's a great piece of artwork, really scaly, reptile like. I love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, let's carry on. Duck bill and boneheads. Always these guys are headbutting each other in most books. So what happened, I guess, extinction, we've got flying reptiles, which is good, all the classic ones back in those days, many more were discovered after this book was released, obviously. 
got the marine reptiles and a crocodile eating I don't know what the hell that is there <laughs> it's a funny picture digging dinosaurs oh yeah bone wars nice a lot of these books have the bone wars and we've got Mary Anning and a few other early paleontologists so a nice nice lovely book for kids good memories borrowing this one from the library some nice artwork in there so i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you all next time